But first, we begin this hour in the murky but all-important world of global oil. It's important because it powers our factories, heats our homes, and for many of us, feeds our cars. And in the past few weeks, we have seen oil prices falling through the floor. On Thursday, U.S. oil prices dropped below $75 a barrel. It is the first time in more than three years that has happened. Brent crude also dropped below $79, and that hasn't happened for almost four years. And there are many factors in play. The U.S. is cranking out more energy thanks to the shale gas boom, and the global economy is a little less thirsty. A slowing growth rate in China, among other places, has cooled total demand. And while lower gas prices are cheered on by the average consumer, they're not so good for jobs in states across the U.S. Midwest with oil and gas reserves. High prices in the past have spurred domestic production. They're also good for investing money in costly exploration and drilling in harder to reach places. Ginger Vaughn brings us this report from Houston on the flip side of lower oil prices. What's been great at this kind of pump hasn't been so great for this kind. Here in Texas, the price of oil company stocks have tumbled along with gas prices. Some industry analysts say oil producing U.S. states, such as Texas, Oklahoma and North Dakota, can expect leaner times ahead. It will certainly result eventually in uh, less wells being drilled, um, less business for the service companies, and um, that will eventually lead into, lead into uh, less jobs uh, in that sector. After the fighting in Iraq helped drive up the price of West Texas Intermediate crude to around $107 a barrel in June, prices tumbled. Texas crude, one of the world's benchmark oil prices, sank to around $75 a barrel on Thursday, a fall of more than 40 percent in five months. U.S. production still climbed to its highest level in three decades, and there's no slowdown in sight. OPEC members have shrugged off calls to cut production and slashed export prices to the U.S. instead. Despite the plunge in prices, oil companies haven't cut production. Several government and industry reports argue that prices will have to drop another 10 to 15 percent from where they are today to around $60 a barrel before producers start to scale back even a little bit. The result, an oil glut that has driven down share prices in the energy sector. Ross says consumers should enjoy it while they can because the prices may not stay this low for long. If the lower prices, lower oil prices lead to an improvement in the international economy, the potential for demand recovery is quite strong. So I wouldn't see this uh, being more than a one-year a one or perhaps maximum two-year uh, lull in prices. Industry analysts say the continuing slump in oil prices appears to reflect a consensus view among traders and investors that OPEC producers won't be cutting their output when they meet in Vienna later this month. Ginger Vaughn, CCTV, Houston.